Hi, and it's the sixth Sunday of Easter. In this gospel, it's a beautiful prayer that Jesus offers up for his disciples. He's talking about, you know, you know, if you love me, then keep my commandments. Stay connected to me. Stay focused on the things that are really important in this life, and you'll know that I'm always with you. And he says, don't worry that you're not going to see me in the same way that you've always seen me, because I'm going to ask my Father to send you an advocate. An advocate who is not only going to be with you always, but an advocate who will be inside of you. Of course, we know this advocate is the Holy Spirit. And that's what we're gearing up for all this Easter season, to the culmination of the Easter season, which is Pentecost Sunday, where the Spirit came down upon those disciples in the upper room and enlivened them and changed their hearts and minds forevermore. They were no longer afraid. And so in the Gospel this week, Jesus is encouraging us to look at our lives and to say, what is it that we want to be? How do we want to bring God in this world to the people around us, to the people that we love, first and foremost, to the people in our families, by the way we talk to them, by the way we care for them, by the way we show compassion and forgiveness to them. Those are so important for us to do. Those are elements that are so important. And so as we listen to this gospel, we realize that we all have a responsibility and we're all challenged to do what we can do. You know, sometimes we keep Jesus on the back burner. We love God, we love Jesus. He's important to us in our lives, but we don't put him as the central part of our lives or on the front burner, as we might say, because we need to keep that focus always. If we keep that focus, so many things in our lives will fall into place. And our enthusiasm will just continue to grow. Have you ever met people that really love what they're doing or even are going to an event that they love so much, you know? I know with like my brother, he loves going to the Yankee games. And if he gets an opportunity to go to a, a real live Yankee game, um, he's just so excited. He's, he's sort of out of himself. You know people that go to any kind of a sporting event that they love or if they're going to do something outside that they love to do or inside or wherever, their focus, their preparation, their demeanor completely changes. It's like they're free to be someone more full in their lives, that they aren't bogged down with the things that really sort of like, you know, concern them, but they're really energized by it. That's what Jesus is asking his disciples today. He goes, go out and be energized and bring my love to all people. Show them how to live. Show them how to love. Show them how to forgive and sacrifice for one another. That's what the message is about this week. And that's what you and I have to try and do together. And the only way I know how to do that is by coming together as a faith community. You know, we have many communities that we're part of in our lives. You know, and that's wonderful. But a faith community, if it's truly going towards its mission, should enliven and strengthen all of us in ways that we can't get in any other place of our lives. So let's keep God's commandments. Let's keep God close to us. And during this Easter season, we should be praying and inviting the Holy Spirit to fill us, to heal us, and to guide us. That's what this season is about. And that's what we're leading up to when we go to celebrate in a few weeks, Pentecost Sunday. So come to the Church in the Nativity of Stewardship Parish in Midland Park. Watch Emmanuel, Father Emmanuel's new video if you haven't had a chance to look at it yet. You'll be very touched by his message. We'll remind you about Ascension Thursday and the Mass schedule there. Check the website for that. And we hope to see you then. God bless you.